to you. Well, as you can see, this boy desperately wishes to come on out um, at the moment. So let me get that door open for him. Although, no, we're not actually going, as I chase him around, um, we're not actually going that way. Jesse, you can certainly come up onto the the snake tree if you would please come on oh, this way there you go bud that is much much easier well and I, and I don't really want you going that way because you can go upward and it's it's better then over the, well, if you make your way to the other side of the, sorry, I'm just talking to my snake here, am I not? Uh, he can make his way over to the other side of the room if he chooses. Uh, but I have got it set up for him to go up. Um, up, of course, onto that bird area, which I said uh, is not exactly strong enough for him, but it's okay. He... It does support him, thankfully. He keeps a certain amount of himself. Whoa, oh, and I forgot. Oh my goodness. I forgot I had a little phoenix out. Like, honestly, that's a, a no no one because she flutters pretty much everywhere and anywhere. And I don't want her to do that with. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 because she comes and she flies on that snake tree and um, I, I really oh I do oh I don't want her to and she knows she knows what I'm doing and I'm actually going to open her cage up this way and I'm going to close it down <gasps> oh excuse me while I um, see some of the things that I do I let um, the birds out um, to have freedom and they get used to it and they know it. Step up. Step up, up. Thank you. Good girl. Who's a good girl? <gasps> woo. 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 Come on. This is difficult. I'm going to hold her feet. Excuse me while I hold her feet, which I don't do very often, but this is for her complete and utter safety um, because she doesn't she doesn't know any better. Um, ooh, click it over. Woo! Oh my goodness now. It, it's only because of the fluttering um, uh, that would happen around Jessie. Uh, it, the movement uh, that type of thing and she would just land completely here and uh, Jessie would react um, as a snake would just out of the fact it was fluttering and moving though you know I do not feed live prey to my snakes so they do not know that type of eating scenario uh, at, at all but Jessie coming out is basically what this video is about is he knows that I let him out like all my other snakes get the availability to to come out and explore and have some freedom so what I want to say to people is, 
this isn't something that you do and give them and then decide that's not what you're going to do anymore with them and you just leave them where they are I would rather you didn't do in the first place because it would be so unfair to then take away what what they know and what they love so when you make a decision that you are going to allow your snake freedom to come out and explore or just have the availability that they come to the door and they know that you will open it for them wonderful that's that's great but don't do it if it's not going to be a continuing thing for them it's you know having a snake and then you giving it the freedom and the life that you do and then all of a sudden you you don't want that snake anymore you give it away to somebody and then they stick it into an enclosure or whatever they're going to keep that snake in and that snake will suffer and their emotions will be stress and unhappy and just miserable because they don't get to do what they've always done which is yeah come out and explore Jesse why are you going home so I guess in the end what it is is don't offer your snake the freedom to come in and out explore get all that enrichment freedom taking them outside whatever it is that you do and then that snake is then given to somebody that just does not believe in a snake actually needing all of this sort of thing. I think the snake should go with a to-do list. If you're going to have my snake, this is what my snake is very much used to doing and has had available to them and I want that to be an ongoing thing. And if that list is long, so be it. I think that's important that you do that and not just hand a snake over and that person think feeding it, giving it fresh water is about all they really need to do because it's, it's not. I couldn't even imagine giving my snakes to somebody and knowing that they're not going to get this, that they're not going to get any freedom, that they're just going to be stuck in an enclosure all of the time. I, I would be... I wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't do it. And I know that everybody does things differently, but there are people out there that are happy to give their snakes some freedom and time out and have a belief that enrichment is very important to them and offer it to them. But could you imagine Lily, who comes out every day and stays out all day and all night till I go to bed, living a life stuck in an enclosure? I know she would never be the same snake again but it does go for all my others so if you're going to give up your snake and you've given them all of this write that list and make sure that person is going to do the care that you've given and not only that take a look at the environment that the snake is going to the enclosure that they're going to be put in. Offer some advice 
in a good way if you see that it's not acceptable because maybe they don't know any different. So, <clears throat> Jess is possibly doing the lily uh, or not, have a drink and come out. I, I'm yeah, not sure. He's not not sure but are you going to oh i don't know if i can get all the way down here you're going to come out mister as he goes back up again you might see him oh no crawling through there Oh my goodness, don't throw me, Jesse. <laughs> How are you going to get back? You haven't thought about that, have you? But go on, go on. Oh man, big snake, thin. Oh, I'm gonna have to get him a log. Okay, he's figured it out with a lot of dropping uh, parts of his body to maneuver back but he did actually figure it out and I'm hoping that he'll realize as you see that it's not exactly the best place for him to be sunny 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 okay sorry for that walking going on but you'll see and she knows that Jessie is actually up there although she's there if you can't see her very good because it's dark but is he going to figure it out like well, I hope he does because um no don't don't go that way just go on to the well you are going to fall and I don't want to have to catch you. Whoa. Oh. Come on, man. Just, just go down onto the bird cage and bird area and you'll be, you'll be sweet. Right. Like, that's the way to go, man. Don't frighten your bum. I know, don't get to do, don't go back up again. Like, honestly. You're, you're falling all over the place. I know you've got a good grip there, but you've got a good grip on my things. Like, huh. Well, there you go. I don't think he can fit through that gap. He's too fat. So he needs to go backwards and it's too hard for him. Well, I'm going to have to get up. Oh, this is fun.
a lot of my life is waiting for my snakes to make up their mind about what they're going to do. But I know what I'm going to do right now and that is say goodbye, take care, I'll talk to you again soon. Ciao.